Hey everyone, it's Tommy. Back on the old 65 Ford. I'm just going to work on, of course, you know, I've been working on the weather stripping on the last video and I'm still working on it a little bit, but I uh, started working on this corner right here. And this stuff is so hard and hard to get off. I'm afraid I'm going to bust the window, so I'm going to have to maybe approach it from the inside, which I think I can do it better. Take it loose from the inside, and I'll show you. I think I can take it loose from the inside and push the windshield out. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the lip right down below where I've been breaking that stuff off. It is so hard and brittle. But uh, I can break it off from the inside and probably just push the windshield out. So, But I kind of got tired of working on that, so I'm going to work on the, this cow seal. I've got a new one of those. Now, on this side, they still have the little studs that held the seal on before. But apparently at some point... They have come off over here because if you look, somebody's used screws and they've actually put that one on down on the side a little bit. So probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the little studs and the old screws and just put this on with some stainless, small stainless steel screws. And that'll make it look pretty good. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I think I'm going to get started on that, and I'll show you more as I go along.
one that wanted to be stubborn had to get the old vice grips out. But I got those out. I'll take my wheel and clean that real good. Go ahead and drill those out. I'll, do there. I'll have to get you some screws. I don't have any. I'll make a trip out to our local hardware store and pick up some stainless steel to go back in it. It looks like that's what they've used here, stainless steel. So, you can see that. But, uh, okay, I'll show you more. I've got the uh, I've got the cow rubber weather strip and put on. Put it in with some stainless steel screws, so it looks pretty good. Uh, I, I had most of it filmed where I was grinding off the heads of them, and well, I think y'all saw me do that. But uh, I was drilling out the holes and placing everything, and I had most of it filmed, and then. Realized that I was playing my Bluetooth speaker, so can't post that footage. But uh, I've got that put on. I'm gonna shut the hood and see how it does. So let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like it's going to seal pretty good all the way across. Yeah, yeah looks good. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, look all. Maybe start working on the back window and see if I can't get it out before I call it a day. So, show you more here in a little bit. That took about oh, half an hour. That old hard uh, weather stripping around the window. I had to cut it off with a with a uh, razor. And then uh, I used a putty knife to bend it around and break it off and pushed it through on the inside. So I need to uh, just kind of go around the outside edge of it there with a wire brush. I think I'll do that. Wire brush it real good and clean the wind up and then maybe call it a day. Uh, I'm not going to post this video. I'll wait till I get some more things done. So uh, I'll show you what I've got after I clean it up. And I'm going to call it a day. I have took a wire brush to the round outside of the where the stripping was. pretty good. Let's see if I can get it to focus here a little bit better. So I'll take a little lacquer thinner to it before I put the glass back in. I'm going to clear coat the truck before I put the glass back in though. So uh, here's the back glass. I'm ready to take the, uh, ready to take the weather stripping off all the way around. I wish the front glass stripping was this pliable. <laughs> I mean, it is hard. It's, it's like hard plastic. But uh, I guess it's uh, more apt to be exposed to the sun, being that it's leaned over, leaned backwards than this one. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this window cleaned up and call it a day. And I'll show you when I get the window cleaned up. Okay, back glass is cleaned up. I uh, kind of put it over here on the wall, got it out of the way, got all the old uh, adhesive and stuff off the round the outside of it and cleaned it real well. And I just put it over here on the wall where it won't get broken. So now I think it's time to tackle the front windshield, see what we can do about getting it out. The windshield is out, and I'm telling you, it was a job. That stuff's hard plastic. And try to get it out without breaking the window was fun. But everything looks really good. The window channel looks really good. It just needs to be, uh, I need to take a wire wheel to it. But uh, there's no rust whatsoever. 
Uh, I'm really glad this truck's not, not, don't have the rest that a lot of them have. This 52 year old truck, 53 now. So, uh, but uh, what I done was I got everything loose from here all the way around the bottom and up to the same same spot up on the upper side and then I just tilted the window out and laid it down and it all just came out from under this top. So I've got it laying over here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all this stuff off here. See if I can't take it all loose clean up around the edges of it and get it ready to put up. So I think that pretty much was going to do it for now. Uh, I think I'll uh, go ahead and, and uh, just clean this glass up and uh, I think I'll uh, go ahead and post this video here where I've been working on it. But uh, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I hope you guys uh, or enjoying what I'm getting done. I mean, I'm not making any great leaps and bounds, but uh, I am getting a few things done to it, and that's kind of what it's all about. Just come down and uh, just, uh, like they say, nibble at the elephant a little bit at a time until you get it done. So, but uh, please uh, uh, like and subscribe uh, if you feel like it. Uh, if you want uh, more videos. Uh, if you'd like to be notified, hit the hit the bell icon, and uh, stick around. Um, we're going to try to get this thing back on the road here, hopefully by springtime. Uh, I took the seat to a, a friend, uh, have uh, have it covered because I wasn't able to uh, get a hold of any foam, and I'm not really going to try that. So uh, I'll work on a body, I'll work on an engine, but I'm not an interior guy. So. But uh, I could learn, but right now is not the time for it. I got too much to do on this one. So, uh, like I say, subscribe if you and like if you don't want to. And I will see you guys later. See you bye.